Welcome back, everybody, to X4 Foundations. I'm an old guy in uh, trouble. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, we have uh, a nasty, nasty amount of enemies heading our way here. Uh, so we are in a uh, family uh, to Kerr at the moment. Uh, we're pushing on through. Uh, the goal here is to push, to clear, clear the Xenon out of family to Kerr. I've uh, cleared them out of Matrix 451 and pushed them all the way back to Matrix 9 and ultimately take out their shipyard and their and their wharf and pretty much take them out completely. <clears throat> uh, at least that's the goal. But I moved into uh, Family Takur here and they uh, are definitely not appreciative <laughs> of me being here. So what I've done is... You know, once I kind of realized what was ha coming here is I pulled all my fighters back and I have both my fighters and my, um, well, I have my fighters on follow and I have my destroyers just not even in the fleet at the moment because I want to directly control everybody. Um, and then what I've done is I've, I've told my fighters to drop start dropping laser towers just kind of all in front of us here and so we have a bunch of laser towers down and what we're going to do is we're going to let the enemy come to us and let the laser towers do most of the work when the k's get right up in our business you know then we'll then we'll send some destroyers after them but even i mean we got a lot of laser towers down like a shit ton of laser towers <laughs> You can see here uh, and I actually I kind of noobed out and accidentally dropped a bunch of satellites which I didn't mean to do um, but you know whatever we can pick those up later or, or not worry about it at all um, so yeah I wasn't planning to bring you back at this point because I wasn't planning on such you know uh, such resistance from the enemy but it's here and we need to capture this on camera and see how things go okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna unpause here and we're essentially we're gonna let the enemy come to us and you know we've got so many laser towers down right at the moment in fact hold on a second uh, you should not be fleeing I thought I turned all that shit off okay cancel override I don't want them to flee because fleeing they they almost always get themselves killed if they flee in this situation I want to control them directly. So I'm just kind of going through and making sure everybody is set to ignore so I can control them directly. All right, hold on. You are escape. No, no escaping. Just ignore. Let me control you. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our fighters and we're going to have them... Uh, attack multiple objects and just keep it, it what you know the goal here is to keep them with me uh, and with the cluster of laser towers because if I put them on intercept they're gonna get too far out they're gonna get separated and they're gonna get killed and we don't want that to happen waiting orders oh my goodness look at the, <laughs> look at the light show from the laser towers that is amazing um, okay so like 4th of July. Uh, all right, so here, let's go back into the map here. And, you know, we're just going to let the fighters feed themselves right into the grinder here, essentially. Uh, but like I said, once the Ks get, like, right up in our business, then we'll send the destroyers after them. But I want to wait until the last possible second uh, for that. And, okay, so our fighters are doing good so far. Nobody's into the hole yet. So I'm just kind of waiting for a few more to get here, and then we'll we'll redo their instructions to attack multiple targets. Okay, so let's do a pause here. I'm gonna just remove. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Darn it! Uh, here, we'll put you back on follow, Commander, for now. But now what we're going to do is we're going to once again do a attack multiple objects. We're 
We are very much controlling everything that happens in this fight. Uh, we're not leaving anything to the AI's decision because they're stupid as hell. That was a really silly thing to do. Uh, it looks like the laser towers are starting to go to town on the K as well. So we're just kind of watching the holes of our fighters here. If somebody starts getting into the hole, we're going to... Okay, it looks like we got you. Uh, so I want you to remove all orders and go repair at the Orca. Now, I know this happens automatically, but I don't want to rely upon that. Because I really don't want to lose any of our fighters. Yeah, they're very expensive. These are she's... Um, that are decked out in some high-end gear and they're <laughs> they cost me a lot of money I don't want to lose them if I don't have to okay so we're just kind of keeping an eye on things here All right, so let's see here. Um, actually, everybody's still in good shape, and he he's on his way to be repaired. So awaiting yeah. orders. Let's just keep keep going. Uh, this guy's getting in pretty close, but he's gonna he's gonna meet up with a shit ton of laser tower fire here pretty soon. So not quite wanting to send my destroyers out until the bulk of the fighters have been taken out. Uh, which it looks like that's already almost the case here. But we have another little group coming here. And they are really coming after us, aren't they? Okay. We just got to play it smart because they have... They outnumber us significantly. <laughs> and so... I want the laser towers to do, you know, the bulk of the work here. So see, these Ks, they've got to wade through all these laser towers to get at us. Um, so I'm inclined to just kind of sit around and wait and see what happens before we go on the offensive here. So our fighters are in really good condition. Looks like we lost one. I had a total of 40. Uh, so we've lost one so far, which is acceptable, all, all things considered. Let's let these Ks just get right into our laser towers. Okay. Um, I think what we're going to do... Let's see. We have another K and a small fighter group coming that way. And another K and a medium-sized fighter group coming that way. Uh, but I don't want all four Ks to be up in our business at the same time. So I think it's time for us to take the first two out. Um, so what I'm going to do is... Where's everybody positioned? Three and four. Okay, so let's take these three here and have them attack that guy. Remove all orders first. And then these two will have attack this guy. And we will also go after this guy in our uh, 
and the rattlesnake. And I think what it will do with the fighters, they're all in very, very good shape. Uh, let's put them on intercept with the rattlesnake. Okay. I'll wipe you out. Can I help? No, get out of here. Sir. I don't want to talk to you. We were hit. We need to. Oh, no, that's the nav console. What the frick? In the wrong place. A little framing we right hit. now. Shields are down. Shields are down. Awaiting orders. I'm in not in a good position here. I have to burn this guy down quick. Awaiting orders. Explosion. Yeah, he's dead. Okay. Explosion. Let's, um, and we burned down the other one. Okay. Are all of our destroyers intact? Yes, they are. They're in very good shape, actually. Okay. Um, I think what I want to do then is let's pull the destroyers back here. Well, first of all, Remove all orders. Come back here and then turn and face this way. Okay. <clears throat> Danger. Something hit us. Alright, yeah, we uh we have some serious damage on our guns because we're right up in that guy's business. But I restocked the drones on the rattlesnake, so damage should be okay here let me make sure i'm a little bit disoriented on where i'm supposed to be going so um, let's just aim for our auxiliary ship awaiting orders so we're going in the general direction i guess those caves were a little bit closer than i here. We got another one bearing down on us really quick here, too. Awaiting orders. Container. Okay, let's take let's assess here. So we're actually doing pretty good. Um, there's just a few enemies here that are being dealt with with our intercept command. Um, okay, so anybody that is down on hull, significantly anyways, like we'll say less than 90%, uh, we're going to send give a direct command to repair. You guys all remove your current orders. And go repair at the Orca. Okay. Um... All right, so now we're waiting for uh, this K, <clears throat> excuse me, to come in. That's not a huge group, so I'm not too terribly worried about them. So I think what I'm going to do is let's go ahead and you guys are all in very good shape. Nobody's uh, lost any hull or anything like that. So let's remove all your orders and just send you into attack him. I'm going to let my destroyers take care of this K because I'm in kind of rough shape right at the moment. Whew, okay. Awaiting orders. Uh, so we should have um, a rattlesnake. We should have um, repair drones. I don't know why they're not activating, but they're not. 
Just irritating? Come on, repair drones. Awaiting orders. There they go. Now they're starting to pop out. Okay, so our destroyers are going after this K. And hopefully they'll Awaiting orders. dispatch him before the other K gets here. And then I think we've probably successfully won this battle. Laser towers for the Awaiting win, man. Woo. Well, if we hadn't had the laser towers, this would have gone way differently. <laughs> so, well, we lost a node in. Awaiting orders. In Family Zen. What the hell's going on in Family Zen right now? We don't have time to be dealing with this right now. Uh, let's see. Family Zen. Oh, shit. We got a K here. Ah, not good. Okay. When it rains, it pours, right? Okay. I want every single one of you guys to remove all orders and get the hell out of here and let the let the defense tower uh, or defense platform take care of that K. Go, 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 go. Who's this? It's our servers. Okay. Malfunctioning circuit board. I had just um, recently taken out a, a, a Xenon station here, so that's why my Corvette fleet is over in this area. I hope that Cerberus can get away. Try again. Okay. Awaiting orders. Let's get back to this this fight. This is the more important fight. We were hit. Okay, so it looks like we have at least three destroyers on the K, and this guy's taking his own frickin' sweet time, but hopefully that K will be dead before Awaiting orders. this Osaka 3 loses their shields. So it pisses me off so much that their AI is so fucking stupid that they don't point towards the ship and use their main guns. I don't understand that. There is no excuse or reason for that in my mind I, that I can think of. It just doesn't make sense. Absolutely does not make sense. But it is what it is. It's the way the game works. But we're going to be fine. They, they might take a little bit of explosion damage, but they got drones and we have our auxiliary ship here. So either way, we're good. Okay. Awaiting orders. So none of the Osaka's lost their shields completely. Uh, or the Odysseus. So we're good. Whew. Okay. Uh, I Awaiting think we orders. got this in hand. We do have this one last group that's flying to their doom but my goodness <laughs> that was that was a little intense there for a while i'm gonna actually see if i can get my fighters to pick up uh all of these satellites that they dropped did not uh, mean for them to do that in fact i could even i could even tell them to just pick up all deployables But I'm not going to worry about that until we deal with this last group. My drones are working hard at getting the rattlesnake back in business, which is great. Okay. Um, yeah. So let's uh, let's just deal with this final K here. It looks like he's still coming towards us. If he was smart, he'd turn around and tuck tail. But you know, ultimately. The Xenon in this area are going to perish at our hand anyways. It's just going to happen. That's all there is to it. Whether they realize it or not. I'm 
pretty pleased, you know, with the progress we've made so far, considering how small our fleet is. You know, we've done this whole, all of this with uh, five destroyers, six destroyers. Six destroyers and 40 fighters and more recently an auxiliary ship. That's pretty good. That's that's a small fleet for this job, but it's getting the job done. It's taking a little while, but it's getting the job done. So I can't complain. It almost looks like some of the satellites that were dropped have been picked back up. I don't understand how that happened because I didn't give that command, so I'm not really sure. But it doesn't matter. It's all good. So once we deal with this little group here, then, then we will mount an assault on this defense platform and start taking it down. We'll push the Xenon out of family to Kerr. Then we'll go into Matrix 451, push them out of here. And get everybody back to Matrix 9. And then... Hopefully, you know, take out their wharf in their shipyard. Okay, so um, these guys came to within intercept range, but I don't want the fighters to go in first. I want the um, I want the destroyers to go in first. Okay, now what I'm going to do is remove those orders and then then they'll come, come in on intercept. Uh, another K showed up too, but it's thinking twice about attacking us, so I don't know what it's going to do. This pisses me off. There's two lone fighters that go right into the fray without waiting for their buddies, and then they get their ass kicked. Awaiting orders. Awaiting orders. Okay, so our destroyers are taking that K out fast. Awaiting orders. We're taking hits. Awaiting orders. Okay. Hopefully we didn't... Uh... Awaiting orders. Uh, looks like Vulture 2 is being attacked by Cock. Right, let's pause the game and take a quick look at that scenario. Man, these cock are a pain in the ass. I tell you what, such a big pain in the ass. Uh, what we're gonna do is grab you guys. And I'm going to attack multiple objects and just get all of those guys. Awaiting orders. Okay, back to the rattlesnake here. Not good enough. Awaiting Don't orders. Looks like all the fighters are good. Nobody's into their hole, at least not significantly. Um, so they are in good shape. Awaiting orders. Who are you? Oh, okay. I was going to say, who are you attacking? Got some repair drones working on our destroyers. Okay, so look. I don't know what this K is doing. It might be... 
maybe wanting to go down to Thurik's demise. Uh, we will have to come down here and clean up the trash out of here too. And ultimately, you know, free up Eonimus e e Zura and give it, get it back to the Talati. But, um, you know, after we clear Family Takur, then of course we go into Matrix 451 and then Matrix 9, take out the shipyards and everything else. And then once that's done, then we'll shoot down uh, to Thurix to my street and Eonimus Zura and get those guys cleaned out. Uh, that is the tentative plan, anyways, at this point. To drop my okay, we got some pirate action. Trader 5. That does not surprise me in the least. Trader 5 gets harassed more than any other trader because he's in Talati space. Uh, so let's take a look at his situation. <clears throat> is it a Minotaur or a Destroyer that's giving you a hard time? It's just a Minotaur. Okay. So, 10 uh, fighters should be able to take care of him. No problem whatsoever. All right, let's let that play out on its own. What, what are you guys doing? Oh, I pulled you away from the K, and it looks like... Yeah, it looks like our, our defense platform took care of the K. Okay, good. So I'm going to have... <clears throat> excuse me. I'm going to have you guys, at least for now, just protect the station until further notice. So there's no new stations going up there and nothing new happening at the moment. Here in Zyarth's Dominion 1. So we're holding steady up in the north there. We'll just continue our onslaught here in the east. And a little squadron of fighters up there, but nothing significant. Uh, they're not trying to set up any new stations in Tharkas 24. And Fires of Defeat is also staying clear. So it's working. Slowly but surely, it is working. <gasps> oh, excuse me. All right, so I think we've taken care of most of the threat in this system. We do have to keep an eye on that K. Uh, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab my destroyers. Engaging. And we're going to go ahead and start assaulting this defense platform. And what I might try and do here is the, this defense platform is actually up in the air a little bit. So let's have the destroyers fly right underneath it and then I might just send them straight up underneath. Awaiting and orders. Attack that way. Awaiting orders. Okay, that guy's moving in fast towards the defense platform. So. Let's just go ahead and take him out now. So we don't have to worry about him later. So I'll send the destroyers to take him out and then when they're done, then I'll bring them back to that position there. Awaiting orders. Awaiting orders. Um, yeah, I think, I think that fight went amazingly well, considering how badly outnumbered we were. Um, Awaiting orders. the laser towers definitely made a huge, huge difference in helping us survive that fight.
You know what we could do, since this guy's by himself. Um, why don't we send our fighters in and take out his engines? That seems to work really well, because if you can take out their engines, then they're dead in the water, and then you just attack them from the top, and they can't do anything. Um, also, I switched out my existing she's in configured my new she's to have a burst rays. So they have two burst rays and two bolt repeaters because burst rays are like the primo weapon in the game to take out surface elements. So I'm curious to see how quickly uh, the fighters will be able to take out this dude's engines. Awaiting orders. Um, I am back but I have really bad frames at the moment so I'm trying to see how quickly these fighters can take out the engines uh, but my frame rate's absolutely tanked right at the moment <clears throat> but they should be should take them out pretty quickly um, this is kind of a bad time for me to save and try and restart the game is a thing Okay, so that engine's out. So, yeah, sorry about the bad frame rate. I had to tab out of the game and actually come back to it later. And when I tapped back in, it just kind of choked the computer a little bit here. So, normally, you know, with 40 she's and each one of them outfitted with two burst rays, if this was happening... <laughs> <laughs> happening at regular frame rate, uh, they'd be just melting those engines. Okay, yeah, see, it's gone already. Um, okay, so what I want to do now is okay, so if we remove orders, they should all fly back to the rattlesnake. And then what we'll do is I positioned all of the destroyers up high and we're, they're just going to swoop down on the K and take them out. Move all orders and attack. And uh, the game is running smoothly Away again. Orders. Uh, so we should see our destroyers swoop down on this K from up above. And Away as long as orders. they, you know, as long as they come down pretty straight over him, he should not be able to fire on him. But it does. It kind of doesn't matter with all, orders. all five of them coming at him at the same time. Anyways, he's he's dead no matter what. Oh, come on. Let's get, if, if they decide, you know, to... Where the hell are you going, dude? <laughs> um, I don't know why that one guy took off. Oh, for goodness sakes. Okay, something's not quite... So he decided to go all the way down there to attack. I mean, I don't think I gave him an order to do that. These guys are just uh, directly on him. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's see if the ones that are still up there will attack. It's not that hard, guys. Just fly towards him. And shoot your guns. <laughs> That's all you got to do. Oh, man. Okay, now they're finally starting to attack him. And he can't do anything because he doesn't have any engines. Sucks to be him. I don't know why the ships get... You know, do get in that little somersault flip around thing. Why can't they just point at the enemy, fly straight towards them, and shoot their guns? It's not that hard. Ugh, it's frustrating sometimes. Okay. Awaiting orders.
orders. So, I think we... Awaiting orders. Pretty much cleared out the enemy ships from family to Kerr. And we will now proceed to do the usual uh, station busting and prevention of them from starting to build new stations. Striking. Um, so, the plan is to uh, clear, clear Xenon completely out of family to Kerr. Then we're going to run right on into Matrix 451. I'll lay some more satellites down in here. Do the same thing here. And then... Um, I think I'm going to just go right on into Matrix 9 and and I try and attack their shipyard and their wharf. And, of course, you know, their defense platforms, too. Uh, we also do need to, at some point, come down to Thurik's Demise 2 and Eonimus 04 and clear them out of these two sectors as well. So we still have a decent amount of work cut Awaiting out for orders. us. But if, you know, if we don't get another huge battle like the one I wasn't even planning on recording this but that battle was so huge it's like okay we gotta catch this on camera um, so you know unless we get another huge battle like that I probably won't bring you guys back until at least until we're ready to assault uh, the shipyard and the uh, and the wharf um, so uh, we're gonna wrap up the episode here hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you did please hit that like button subscribe to the channel leave a comment show the video and we'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.